World of Dentistry. Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs. Hi everyone, welcome to our Dental Health YouTube channel. In the world of dentistry, there are different specialties, each responsible for treating specific problems in the teeth and gums. Today, we are going to talk about two very important and often confusing specialties, endodontics and periodontics. Join us as we explore the differences between the two and when it is advisable to consult each specialist for proper dental treatment. Now we will unravel the mystery behind endodontics and periodontics. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between these two specialties? Well, let's find out together. Let's start with endodontics. Endodontics focuses on treating diseases that affect the inner part of the tooth, including the roots and canals. Did you know that all teeth have at least one root canal? In this canal are the dental pulp, which contains nerves, connective tissues, and blood vessels. It keeps our teeth alive and healthy. Endodontic problems are generally caused by tooth decay or lesions that affect the dental nerve, causing pain and possible infection. Some of the signs and symptoms that indicate the need for endodontic treatment are persistent dental pain, dental trauma, such as a fracture or a dislodgement of a restoration, dental sensitivity to cold, heat, or sweet foods, presence of obsesses with pus, apical lesions or infections at the tip of the dental root, color change in the tooth, such as a grayish tone, death of the dental nerve or pulpal necrosis, face swelling, and what procedures does an endodontist perform to treat these problems? Well, the first treatment option is endodontics or root canal treatment. Under local anesthesia, the affected nerve is removed and the canals are cleaned with special files. Then, they are filled with a material called feta percha and a final restoration is made to avoid contamination. In most cases, this treatment is successful and the pain disappears. However, on occasion, it may be necessary to perform more complex procedures, such as another root canal or apical surgery. These are performed when initial treatment fails or when there is a persistent injury to the tip of the tooth root. Wow, root canal can be quite a challenge. Now, let's change focus and talk about periodontics. This specialty focuses on treating diseases of the gums and tooth-supporting tissues, such as the alveolar bone and the periodontal ligament. Periodontics deals primarily with two common diseases, gingivitis and periodontitis. Gingivitis is inflammation of the gums and can be easily treated with a professional dental cleaning. However, if gingivitis is not controlled, it can progress to periodontitis, a serious infection that causes bone loss around the tooth. What are the signs and symptoms that indicate the need for periodontal treatment? Pay attention. Swelling and redness of the gums. Bleeding from the gums when brushing or flossing. Tooth mobility. Persistent bad breath, loss of teeth, formation of periodontal pockets which are spaces between the gum and the tooth. And what can a periodontist do to treat these periodontal diseases? Well, one of the most common procedures is scaling and root planing. In this procedure, plaque and tartar under the gum line is removed using special instruments or ultrasound. However, when the periodontal pockets are very deep and the dental bone has begun to deteriorate, it may be necessary to perform gum surgery. During this surgery, the gum is lifted, the tooth roots are cleaned, and the gum is put back in place. But that's not all. Periodontists are also trained to perform other surgical procedures, such as dental implant placement, bone graft surgery, crown lengthening, gingivectomy, and gum graft surgery. Wow, periodontics has so many options. Remember that prevention is essential to maintain good oral health. It is essential to brush your teeth at least twice a day, floss, and visit the dentist regularly. So, when do you have to choose between endodontics or periodontics? The answer depends upon the dental problem you are facing. If you have severe pain in a tooth or an infection at the root, 
you may need a root canal. But beware. Don't confuse the pain of a root canal with the fear of going to the dentist. Remember that endodontists are trained to provide you with a comfortable and pain-free treatment. On the other hand, if your gums are swollen, bleed frequently, or you've noticed tooth mobility, you may need periodontics. A periodontist will be the right specialist to treat and restore the health of your gums and the supporting tissues of your teeth. Remember that both endodontics and periodontics are important dental specialties that can help you maintain a healthy and beautiful smile. If you feel discomfort or pain in your teeth or gums, do not hesitate to go to your trusted dentist. They will refer you to the right specialist if necessary. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.